Oh uh, yeah, sometimes you just have to let the song roll. Roll on, song. Uh, Google brought out a few, few new ones. So, playing around with the tunes at the start. Uh, welcome to the channel. What are you looking at, River? World down here. Not too sure what River's doing today, but he's looking down the campfire. I guess because I just slept. Uh, we're going into the morning of the next day because we're doing a follow-up. A follow-up on the science. Science poll I did. Oh, that's what we should get into right away. Uh, so I did a poll recently on Sambar Deer to see what the community thought. Um, if they were equally as skittish as red deer and elk, or less or more so. And I got a, quite a good turnout, so thanks for everyone uh, for coming out there, because I wanted to get a good baseline, sort of, what, what people's experience were with Sambar Deer. Because uh, the question has been raised, uh, is Sambar the most skittish animal now? Uh, because it's been known for quite some time that the, the elk and the red deer uh, were the most skittish, along with the wolves. And there's uh, different theories here as to why that is. Uh, but um, a few people, as I'll pull up on the poll here uh, for a moment there, I think uh, some think they're less skittish, some think they're more, so it is kind of all over the place, but the community's definitely decided. Uh, so let me just pull up that thing right now. Uh, so there we are, 123 votes. Got more than I thought I'd get, so thanks uh, thanks a bunch for that. Uh, too bad the poll doesn't run longer, because after a couple days, uh, YouTube seems to work in about 48-hour periods. After 48 hours, you don't really see the poll anymore. We got 123, so that's pretty good. But as you can see, Sambar deer are equally skittish as elk, wolf, and red deer, 75%. I was kind of surprised that it was so decisive. I thought it would be something like... Uh, I don't know, 40%, 40%, 20, <laughs> something like that. I didn't think it was going to be uh, so so uh, decisive there. Uh, but we did get uh, quite a few saying they're more skittish, so definitely people people are feeling that the sandbar are, and then some think uh, they're less. Uh, so, you know, definitely, uh, definitely a little bit of a range there, but I was surprised with how uh, how decisive that one was. So, from my understanding of the game, I guess we'll we'll go into it. I had, uh, no one had really tested the new species too much. Most of my faithful scientists and all the ones in the community aren't really sciencing too much anymore. Most of it's been uh, figured out. A lot of it's been sorted out anyways to a satisfactory level. Uh, so, the new Matariki there, we never looked into it too much. Uh, but it was known that Sambar are pretty darn sensitive however there's uh there's a bit of a history with the game with how this all works uh so when i first encountered you know how i was skittish sandbar were i was like oh okay i instead of testing it i just made an assumption uh, right now i'm looking for some elk when you've got some elk i'm gonna watch them come into the water the water the scent's gonna bring a problem though uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be testing out this ambar thing anyways summarily it's gonna be a basic science thing uh, but to my story um, there is so all right I lost where I was oh yeah when I first encountered the sandbar deer and seen how skittish they were um, I had concluded under an assumption that they were the same as the red deer all right without really any tests for it or anything like that. And there's a reason that I came to that conclusion, and there are two main reasons uh, that it that it's a safe a safe bet is um, one first and foremost the developers have had uh, considerable complaints about how skittish some of the animals are and how the spooking works in the game since day one the game's been out so they've been under uh, always had pressure uh, to reduce how much or how skittish the animals were. Uh, and ever since, you know, the start of the game, the pattern of the developers is is clearly in the direction of making the game easier and not more difficult. So, the first reason I thought the sandbar would not be more skittish than Red Deer is because it goes against how the developers are now developing the game. Uh, if they made the sandbar more skittish, they're 
risking even more complaints. Um, I, I just highly doubt that they would intentionally put an animal more skittish than, uh... What in the world do I have blood out here for? Uh, <laughs> more so than the red deer and the elk. Uh, the second... The second thing... The second reason is, uh, there's a little more depth with a bit more history of the game. And it's still a theory, but, uh, the red deer and elk, there's been a bit of copy-paste going on with, uh, with how the animals are, how their AI is, and how their spooking and alertness and everything works. And it is my belief that the red deer of Transylvania and the elk of Nez Perce were, the AI of them were copied over, and they're pretty much identical to each other. And from a developer point of view, uh, it sort of makes sense, because they're on two different maps. You, yeah, from a de developer point of view, you'd be like, oh, that's pretty safe to do. The animals aren't going to be next to each other, so maybe people won't really notice. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure they're they're pretty much copy-paste, which is still okay, because, you know, they, they probably do act fairly similar in real life to each other, really, I would imagine, like how skittish they are and all that sort of thing. I don't really know. Um, but that was, uh, that's been the theory. With the wolves, I don't know if they copied and pasted. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I can't do my test with them right there. This isn't gonna work. Well, we'll let them, uh, log on here. Uh, but with the wolves, um, I'd, I'd, I'd like to think that they didn't copy and paste <laughs> the, the, uh, elk and red deer, uh, AI to the wolves. Uh, but they're fairly similar, but I, I think the wolves are still separate, since they're a predator. And I would probably uh, give the edge to the wolves as being the most skittish, easily alerted, easily spooked animal in the game. That's just from my experience with them. But it's pretty close. It's pretty close. So when I add the, the comment, uh, a comment in the, in the YouTube section, the one video saying Sambar or are more sensitive because I was I was playing one 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 of my videos I spooked them and I spooked them farther out than I anticipated because I was on hiker uh, but I was in the woods and there's a whole lot of variables a whole lot of inconsistencies with the spooking uh, so I just chalked it up to I'm in the woods I was jogging uh, running through it and then I'd switch down to crouch like the normal crouch speed but I had been jogging just prior so I probably built up their alert meter a bit then I went down into a crouch, and then I spooked them farther than I thought. I didn't even know they were there. Uh, so that sparked the comment, um, that Sambar are more spookish. And I thought, okay, well, the game's got a, uh, uh, a habit in the community of, um, uh, people seeing things that aren't really there. Uh, but that's not actually a bad thing. That's an immersive game. When you're so into the game, um, you know, uh, that's actually a good thing with the game. Uh, but I'm well used to that, um, getting uh, comments and points of view on things that are probably not in the game, but maybe. Uh, so I was just going to be like, oh, that's, uh, you know, that's probably just what that is. Someone's just having a rough time with Sambar deer. But then I had a follow-up comment that backed it up, and I'm like, oh, I got two people saying that Sambar is skittish. And in my video... I, uh, I spooked them earlier than I thought, so then I thought, well, maybe there's something to this. So we're going to do some science. I think that's the bulk of my story. Sort of the history of the game and the copy that pays the AI and why I'm doing the science in the first place. Um. Oh, this is just a solo. Okay, I don't have to worry about him then. We can't test on a solo either. Uh, I have other science to do, and actually, solos are what I got to test. That's going to be for another video. Then I have another video I want to do. I'm getting ideas again. So, isn't there supposed to be elk uh, coming to this little lake down here? Like these guys? Okay, well, they're upstream too, so I should be able to find these guys. So how we're doing the test is I've already tested the sandbar in the last video. I mean, it was a quick little one, but I'm not going to put too much, too much real hard data into this. Essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be walking upright towards the deer just like this with the binoculars up and measure the distance. And we're going to see when they go alert. Uh, it's got to be uh, we're going to do elk, red deer, and sandbar again. Well, I haven't done the elk yet. 
But I'm doing all three just to see if they are are the same. Now I'm expecting, you know, a little bit of variance, of course. Because it's going to be, a, you know, a herd and the herds all share the alertness and things like that. But what I'm looking for is a significant difference, not like uh, one or two meters or something like that. But I'm going to do them all uh, just to see. So I just want to see if there's anything anything significant that, that pops out on it. But I believe this is an elk herd uh, coming this way. The trouble is I need to get one that I haven't disturbed or anything. And we need to be in the open. Because if there's any kind of wooded area or anything like that, um, if you don't know, if you're in the, the wooded area, the sound the player makes is amplified considerably. So either if you do the test, you have to test in the wooded area or do the test in the open area. And obviously I'm going to do the open area so we can see them and monitor them easily. Uh, but that's the stance I've chose is uh, just a sneaking upright walk. A stance I never use because um, the slowness of it, the speed penalty to it is not worth it because it's still really noisy. Um, it's much better to, in my opinion, much better to do a normal crouch than this upright sneaking walk. Uh, I've always found this thing louder than the actual normal crouch. So I don't really know. It's not... Not a really well-balanced stance. So, uh, that's what we're doing. We're looking for the open. they got to be undisturbed. I'm going to walk towards them with the binoculars out. I'm going to uh, assume it's about what the sandbar deer were, which is about 100 meters. They go alert. About 100 meters, they pick you up, and then uh, 95 meters, they went alert or something like that. Uh, we'll, try, we'll try and test them a few times. The elk shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, so we'll see. The red deer might be a pain, though, because they're... I don't think there's too many spots where they're out just wide open, aren't they? I'm moving over here to the west just to get a better wind direction. I might just stumble upon some. They all should be coming near the water here. And the, the pond and the creek are to our right. Let's see. But yeah, I'm not going to do any crazy, crazy science tests, like specific super measurements. Just just the basics. There we go. 320 meters. We're going to start crouching again just to make sure I don't mess with them. But yeah, we're, we're going to do a nice summarily done test here. No need to go too crazy. I also don't have forever to do the test, so. <laughs> we'll see what we can do in the time I've got. Uh, the elk are to the left, but there's some rolling hills and stuff. And you can't have any terrain in, in between, because that's going to mess with the test, too. Can I get eyes on them? I need I need them right in the open. There they are. Alright, I'll see if I can get like a nice straight, a nice straight uh, walk to them. This is how unscientific it's going to be. Because if I run out of time, I might just do the elk and the red deer and, and go with my last video when I did this with the sandbar deer. It's about 100 meters when I started bugging them. And you guys can do this test at home. Oh, look at them all. Any, any great awesome ones in there? How come they're walking away from me? I'm not a big fan of them walking away. Look how big the herd is. Holy smokes. Four star. Are they not? Oh, I bet you. I bet you uh, they're at the creek, aren't they? Are they at the creek? Hold on. No, they're not. 250. They're pretty much there. That might count as their drink zone. Or they're still walking to it. I think they're still walking to it. Look at the size of the herd, though. Okay, I'm going to try and go up to this rock here and swing around and then hopefully I can keep them. Oh, this might work here. If they stay up there, I'll have I'll have a good line of sight on them here when I get to the next uh, hill. Oh, no, I'm not going to have a straight line of sight on them over that slope. I'm going to have to move. Uh, we're going to 
have to go over there. Somehow without disturbing them, I'm gonna have to go really wide. Oh, we've got elk right here. Out the back side here. They haven't seen me yet. So there's some rocks. But I think, I think this will work right here. I've got enough of them line of sight. These two are in front. Let's, let's pen them and we're gonna, ah, uh, the wind. No, the wind's gonna wreck it. Darn it. No, that won't be a good test all winds going right at them. Thought maybe we had a good, good shot at it here. All right, let's see if I can get an eye on them. I sent them running that way. They shouldn't be disturbing these guys. Just doing normal crouched at the moment. 150 this way. Let's see here. Okay, it's starting to annoy me now. I got no, I got no angle on them here. It's there's too many slopes in the way. By by the time I get to this hill, I'll be too close to run the test. So I've got to go where my marker was, but even further, and it should be good. Yeah, I spooked him. So that was just crouch walking 100, but we can't use that as a test. Uh, I couldn't get any uh, line of sight on them. Like I need a straight a straight walk in on them. Now there's these guys again, but I've already disturbed them, so it sort of taints the the science of it. Uh, but I'm still gonna do it. Uh, mostly because I'm gonna be like, you guys can also do the test at home. <laughs> I, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend my evening <laughs> walking at animals when I probably already know the result. Who just alerted? Was that you over here? Yeah. How far are these guys? Yeah, see, I can't get a nice, a nice little, um, angle on them either. They're right, right down in like a little, uh, slopey valley kind of thing. Uh, is there another choice? Uh, because I just can't do them guys. Well, these guys, maybe. I get a couple that come out to this lake. Uh, they might be an okay choice. Okay, we'll try these guys. Yeah, we're coming 18 minutes on the video and I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> they have to do the, the talk and the intro. The background of it all. But, uh, yeah, to, to do it nice and cleanly, you need a, you need a straight run at them. Something maybe to be done over the series of hunts, like whenever you stumble upon the situation, like this one. This will work. We'll get a little closer here. I don't know, I could probably crouch into close to 150 meters. And then we'll stand up and walk in on them. Oh, uh, but look, their AI is kind of confused too. Uh, I actually sent this into the developers. See how they're... Uh, Walking in little circles. Like, they're they're not alerted. They're not... This is how they were before I got here. And they this herd's done this before. It's like the... Their waypoint is in the water or something like that, and they can't get to it. That's what my guess is. I'm thinking they can't get to their destination. Because they're just... They're just a mess. And here's the thing. Um... <laughs> Both community managers have this. Uh, a video of me doing this and then reported. And uh, this was from like early access to it. So anyways, sometimes you have to give the developers a little bit of a rough time. Because <laughs> this is the exact same word still doing this. Cause that just doesn't, that's not what they do when they're out of drink zone. I mean, I think they're trying to walk here. Like the zone has been put in there. Anyways, we'll go to 150. They'll still work. Um, like I think they're, they're just going to be registered as traveling, but that should be fine. So we're at 150 meters. We're going to go crouched standing. And essentially, uh, I probably won't leave, leave the recording running for this because it's going to take a minute to get in there. But I'm, gonna, I'm just going to watch him here. I just need Hunter's Hands on. And we'll see see what happens. It's challenging to do science in this game because when you get the scenario you want, 
I don't know if their AI state's going to be satisfactory for the test or not. But I think this is just traveling, but for all I know, they're broken right now. Oh well. We got 112 meters. They should be kicking in. There. 110. That was quicker than Sandbar. So, closest 110. That means the alert meters probably started building up at 115. So, alert at 110. Sandbar was 100. I'm kind of surprised that it's that different. I kicked them out of where they're stuck, though. The alertness, uh, said we're out of here. Okay, let's find let's find sandbar and compare because I thought it was going to be the same, but that was that was definitely ten meters further. Uh, let's find a sandbar. Okay, it should be uh, some sandbar up here. This water. I'm hoping it's a herd. I'm pretty sure it's a herd. Only half a kilometer. I just have to make sure I don't get too close with the jeep. Oops, I grabbed Sika deer. The icons look kind of the same. Just one's looking to the left and one's looking to the right. Oh, well, let's test Sika deer while, while uh, we're at it. Let's see what they come through as. Alright, Sika test instead. Let's just see what these guys are. Test is underway. Straight up walking. Nice and slow. Binoculars up. It's, we're across the water, but... I'm fairly certain I'll... Uh, get... Get them alerted uh, before I get to uh, to that water edge. You know, he's on my zooming zone. We will see closest one, 124 meters. Yeah, I should. I gotta go a little bit to the left here though, because I don't want to dip down where I can't see them and. I should be able to get close enough. Two star mature. So I think this is a, a fairly simple way to measure their alertness here. I am going to encounter water though. Well, let's see what happens though. Hundred meters now. So they are not a skittish as elk. Definitely not. 90 meters. Eighty meters coming up. I'm in the water now. There. But that could have been the water splash. I actually don't know if they actually implemented that. Well, not super scientific on the sea kabu got 80 meters there, where the elk were, um, 110, right? I already forgot. 110? Uh, that's a huge difference there. So that is sort of the, the difference I'm looking for there. So, yeah, see, I'm, I'm, I'm within the alert meter right now. Like, they're, how far they can sense me, so walking around will, will do it. So, I probably started building up their alert meter back there. So, it was probably like 90 meters, 85 meters when I started building up. Uh, anyways. But we're, we're working with when they go alert, walking in, so... Um, what, the Elko's 110, Sambar was 100 in the other video, and then we're 80. So, yeah, there's a, there's a big difference there. Let's see if I can find Sambar, though, and actually click on the right icon. So I have some sandbird here at this little pond up here. Not ideal though, because I can't see them. They're right over here. I'm hoping to get line of sight here in a minute, because I'm I'm a little ways away yet. I'm hoping just to get enough height that it'll count. As soon as there's line of sight, they should be able to hear you. Who's this over here? There's a Sika deer solo. Uh, hoping I can get eyes on them here. Okay, I'm probably not going to have eyes on them for this one, so this isn't very good. That's a calm. Oh man, I got too many bubbles. Still calm, but I think it's just picking up that main one. I'm going to have to go off a of sound here. 
I can't get visual on them. See, they, the marker's not actually where they are, though. Oh, good. There we go. We got them. They're alert. 103. They might have went a little sooner than that, but that was, that was about right. I picked 100 last time. But that was earlier. 105. You know, Elk's 110. These guys 105. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure it's enough to... To really... Uh, say it's significant, right? Uh, well, I have done two tests on Sandbar. That's that one. I think that one should count. Because they, they did catch me there. Um, and the other one I did before was even better than this. It was straight on with them. Uh, so, 100, 105, Elks 110, 115. I mean, we can, we can definitely test over and over again, but, hmm. I just find it interesting that maybe they are a little less skittish. Although, it's so close, I'd be... Really hard to tell. The elk seem pretty clear, though, that they they alerted earlier than these guys, though. Uh, I don't know if I have time to check out another one or not. Okay, I'll try and do a red deer test. This could be a pain, though. These guys are always around the trees. So just from that one elk test, I mean, we'll get some more info here. If these guys are 110, and the sandbar are 105, that means I got a 110, 110, and 105. That means Sandbar are not copy-paste, that they have their own skittish AI-ness spook meter. Uh, which would be less than the elk and red deer. Which would be, which got the least amount of votes. Look at all these guys. Now here's the thing. We gotta have a straight run at them. Wind is good. Ah, uh, but I got water in between me. Uh, I wonder where we can... Where we can get close enough, because we're... We know it's going to be 100 meters or so. These guys should be looking up at least by then. We're at 200. They're a little far back. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be close enough. On this side... Maybe? How far up till the water? 57. No, that's not going to be close enough. Hmm. Not actually sure how to do this, because... This side's not a clear, clear vision. I'm gonna have to go down this side. Walk at him there. I think I'll have to do that. I think that'll work as long as they don't move too much. Alright, I'll see if I can set that up. Of course, this lake goes for like a mile this way. And around. I alerted them just crouch walking here. Hmm. That's really sensitive. I'm on Hiker, and I'm just crouching 160 meters away. That is, uh, that's, that's more than I would have expected. I might end up spooking them just trying to get around. Okay, you guys stay there, please. I really need to get around. The lake is just too big. Who's up there? Want more sandbar? All right, I am going to try this. This is going to take me forever to get around. Look at this! I'm crouch walking away. 190 meters. They're still chirping at me. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to use these guys as a test, because they're I've kind of messed them up. Now, I'm not really letting the alert meter drop very much, because I'm impatient. 
But man, look how far away I am. And I'm just doing the normal crouch on Hiker. Okay, hopefully they're not walking away. Imagine they're just gonna circle. Okay, I should be clear now to actually move here without alerting them. Now I'm wondering if red deer are more skittish than elk. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get into 150 and I'm gonna sit still for a while, make sure the alert meter is dropped right down, and then I'll stand up and, and go in. And within 150 meters of the closest one, 140 actually. So I'm just sitting there making sure they get calm. I've got these sandbar deer all around barking away. I mean, even their calm call sounds like it's an alert call. Must be confusing on Ranger. I would think that that was an alert. A little bark there. Alright, we'll give it a moment. Then we'll, we'll go in here. Okay, we're moving. Alert meter has to be down by now. Hiker goes up and down. Or it goes up really slowly, but down real quick. Alright, who's the closest? There we go. We should... This should not take very long at all, because we're at 125 on the closest one. Uh, watch the water. I don't think the water does anything, but... We got it. Right there. Bang. Alert. Oh, 115 or so, eh? These guys are even further. Hmm. Well, that is interesting. Let me know what you guys think on that one. I'm not going to run these tests a lot, though. Uh, you'd have to repeat this over and over again and record all that. Uh, it looks like there's about a 5 meter difference between all of them. At least. Not, it's not massive, right? But I thought the elk and the red deer were the same. It, it is seeming that the like that elk test was pretty good. And this was pretty good. It seems uh, these red deer are about five meters on me. Now you have to you have to also recognize that as the difficulties uh, increase, that distance probably increases as well. Um, like the differences. Um, so maybe on default difficulty, there's a ten meter difference instead of like a five meter difference in the same kind of test. Uh, so it doesn't depend on what uh, difficulty you're playing on. But just from, from seeing this, I would rank it Red Deer, Elk, Sandbar. Sandbar third place, Elk second, and Red Deer first. Uh, which is surprising to me because I thought it was copy-paste. And it might not be. To know for sure, you'd have to do it over and over again. Uh, but just from, from seeing this right here now, I think there is slight differences between them. Uh, not Not too big to make a difference, but I mean, if you're comparing these Red Deer to... A sandbar directly, then yeah, I would I would say red deer are definitely more skittish than sandbar. Huh. I did test the sandbar twice, and neither of them did it that early. So I'm actually fairly confident in that. The red deer were good a good ten meters at least. Before the sandbar alerted. Anyways, yeah, do the test on your own system. Let's see how it goes. That's all I'm doing. Binoculars up, standing up, sneaking, going straight in. Uh, doing my best to make sure the alert meter is at zero before I start. Uh, no wind, of course. Uh, that's what I got. Elk are in between, Sandbar third. So who would have thought? Everybody thought they were all the same. And maybe they are. You know, it's still not a massive difference, but... Uh, to me, that's raised enough questions that I think, uh... Hmm. I almost want to go back to, uh, the Red Deer of Transylvania and the Elk of Nez Perce and do the same thing. Uh, maybe when I get bored someday. Anyways, I'll shut it down for now. I'm gonna have to actually do some hunting one of these times instead of just observing. Uh, but, uh, hopefully that helps somebody out. Or makes interesting conversation anyways. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care, guys. See you next time.